Hey guys, welcome to 2017. Well, I know it's almost March, but uh, the Vinyl Brothers have been very busy, but also very lazy. This is the first video of the year. Just, you know, I don't know exactly why we've been so lazy, but we're back and we're gonna do a lot of videos this year. So let's get started. This video is going to be on the Vinyl Tag 2017, which is a list of 20 questions about my record collection. So it's a way for you to uh, know a little bit about uh, my collection and some of the cool stuff that, that I have. So let's get started. The first question is, how many records do you own? So I just broke the 500 barrier. I have uh, just over, I don't know exactly how many. Uh, I need to sort of uh, add some stuff to my record collection. Uh, so anyway, just consider 500. Second question is what kind of record player do you have? I have an old Rega Planner 2. Um, it's pretty much original. I mean, it, it has had um, the motor replaced um, sort of recently and it has um, an orthophone cartridge, red, but apart from that it's um, in uh, original condition, it's in good condition, it's a good turntable, I'm very happy with it. Third question, how old were you when you started collecting records? So. Uh, when I started collecting music, uh, it was in CD format when I was around 17, 18, but actual records, vinyl, uh, it was when I was 23. Um, I bought a few then and then I sort of stopped and more recently I sort of picked it up and really started build building my collection from there. The fourth question is, what is the oldest record that I own? And the oldest record that I own is this 7 inch. This is, um, although it's not dated, according to Discogs, it's from 1949. This is a Portuguese singer, Amalia. She's a folk singer of the fado genre. Um, and she is um, the biggest name of all times uh, in terms of fado. It's not the kind of thing that you, lis you listen very frequently, but it's sort of part of my culture and my heritage and um, that's, that's for me a reason to, to, to have um, these records as well. So, next question, what is the first record you ever got? And it's this one, I, from Abath, the side project of um, Immortal at the time. This was released in 2006. I don't know why I was attracted to the um, um, artwork of this one. It's, re it's really simple, uh, but also very powerful. So I got this one, um, and I didn't even own a turntable, a decent one. I had a very, 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 very bad one and I wouldn't dare to play anything that I cared for in it. So I kept this one um, unplayed for a few years. And this is the first one that I got. Fifth question. What is the first record that you got with your own money? And the first record that I got was this one, Candle Mass, Tales of Creation. This was um, a, li a little bit of a surprise. I, I was one day walking through a charity shop and I saw this record and just out of curiosity I went to check the price and it was one pound. And that's when it sort of clicked for me. It's like, how can you get such an amazing album in physical format for one pound? And this record sort of made me want to uh, uh, build a collection on vinyl and that's where it started for me so next question is 
Uh, what is your favorite colored album? This is very recent for me. Well, it's a very recent release anyway. It's uh, an EP from Midnight, Shocks of Violence. And uh, I have a few colored um, records, but they're mostly all um, in one color, one single color. And this one is really cool because it's transparent, but then it has the red and black splatter so it's it's really cool really like this one looks good so next question um one album that i got on discount there is a um, a big retailer hmv in the uk and um, they usually don't have very friendly prices, but actually um, Vinyl Brother, the other Vinyl Brother, told me about this one. Rage Against the Machine was on discount originally $19.99 and I got it from $7.99. So it was pretty much a bargain. I still haven't opened it, <laughs> which is a bit of a shame. I got it late last year, maybe. Uh, I think it was in November, sometime in November, and I I have to I have to uh, get a little bit of time to crack this one open and give it a spin because it's it's an amazing album. So next question: prized possession, prized possession. So my prized possession it's actually here. <laughs> uh, this is the most important album of my collection for obvious reasons. It was bought uh, by my wife um, and it's um, it's uh, an album that was it, it sort of signifies our relationship a little bit. It, it doesn't really work like that but you know what I mean. So she got it in in uh, very very good condition i wouldn't even know how to classify this but it if it's not mint it's near mint for sure and this is on the original um rough trade uh label so this one is this one is one of those you have to handle very gently because it means that much Next one, um, a record by a female artist. This was really hard because I I showed an Amalia uh, record, the seven inch single, in the beginning of the video, and I don't have any anything else. I mean, I have uh, female artists in my uh, collection, obviously, but they're all in in bands, so it doesn't really count. So I have to show another Amalia record. This is uh, just the basically the best hits, or I'm not sure if I can call it hits. The some of the most popular uh, fados she used to sing, and uh, it's in uh, mono. It's quite old as well. This one is from uh, 65. So this is, the first one was the oldest and this is probably the, the second oldest or if it, if it isn't, I'm, I would be surprised. I'm pretty sure it is. So next question. Question 11. An album by your favorite band. And this is, favorite band is always difficult to uh, name but I think this was my favorite band for a long time so that sort of classifies as being my favorite band I don't I don't think I have one right now or I mean it's this one I guess it's my favorite band so I chose uh, Orchid the first album to uh, show uh, this is the reissue on the back on black vinyl. It's on green, which is a, a little bit of a weird color. It doesn't really go with the 
<laughs> the cover and the theme, but it's uh, it's an awesome record regardless. And this is basically where they started to uh, build uh, what was to become the Opeth um, death melodic style, which they pretty much abandoned nowadays. But it's uh, it's an amazing album. I obviously. I didn't start listening uh, to Opeth in in the Orchid era, um, a few years later, but it's the first one and it's, it's, it's a great album. I mean, obviously it's a little bit raw and production is, production wise, it, it could be possibly the less worked album they released, but anyway, I'm going on a bit too much. Opeth, Orchid. An impulse buy. <laughs> this one is a funny one. So I, I got this on a on a record fair, and I have some um, soundtracks, but I don't own that much. And I, I really, I think I only really have soundtracks that I like the movie, but I like the the music as well. And this one, I can't say I like either of those. <laughs> Uh, very much. I mean, it. it's fine. It's like stage soundtrack uh, typical for a uh, vampire movie of the 60s. It's, um, it's been re-released in 2015. This is a re-release. And I haven't seen the movie, so I can't say if it's good or not. I should really at least see the movie. The, the soundtrack is fine, but I don't know. I just... I pretty much like the color because it's red and vampires and stuff, so it, yeah. It's not the only impulse buy I have in my collection, but this is probably one of the weirdest ones. A gift. A gift. This is a pretty cool. This is a pretty cool record. So this one is uh, Obituary. Ingbin Blood. Indian Blood. The actual record is really cool. It has like texture and stuff. You can feel the chest and the wounds and everything. <laughs> it's very gory. But um, it's also signed by the band. Um, Vinyl Brother Lewis got me this one when we went to see the band live last year. So um, I. I I knew he got one for himself um, at the time, uh, but I had no idea he got one for myself as well. So this is it's pretty cool. It's a it's a great album from Obituary and uh, being signed by all the band just makes it that extra special. Now the most played record. I have to go with a classic, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the most played one, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden. Also, um, the one of the f first ones that I got, so it has to be, I mean, just side A, probably remember tomorrow running free Phantom of the Opera. I mean, it's just, yeah, those four right there just on repeat and uh, I'm happy. So yeah, this one has spent quite a few hours in my turntable. A uh, rarity, a rarity. This is very uh, hard for me. I don't really have um, any album that is worth that much or that is, uh, is in very high demand, but uh, I got, I have something to show. It's just, it's hard to define what's a rarity. Is it, I mean, it's something that a lot of people want, but it's something that is also limited. I mean, there are a lot of uh, small underground labels that release, uh, I don't know, let's say 20 types of a certain uh, demo or something like that. Does that make it uh, a rarity? In a way, yes. In a way, uh, some of the, uh, 
uh, Led Zeppelin albums that were pre- mass produced are rarities. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. But this one, uh, because I wanted to show something anyway. Uh, this is a seven inch single from ACDC, and this one I just I'm just showing this one. This is um, one of those that uh, I just got it from I don't know maybe 50p. It's not in amazing condition it's i would say it's i mean it's playable it's it's good it, it, it's playable um and uh, this is the dirty deeds done dirt cheap and this one is going for uh, i don't know maybe 80 pounds without the sleeve i don't have the sleeve without the sleeve and there uh, there was one i saw uh, in very good condition near mint I believe um, with the cover also near mint which was for sale on discogs for almost uh, 600 pounds or something like that which is insane absolutely insane anyway that's done um, rainy day record I could pick any record from this band and would be it would be accurate Catatonia with their dark rock, uh, heavy, doomy, gloomy sound. The, I chose tonight's decision because I think this is the album where they found the um, catatonia sound that they're now famous for. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's blue, it's the color of water and rain, <laughs> so it's the right, it's the right one. Yeah, I think this is uh, just the be- the best rainy day. Any Catatonia is perfect. Feel good album. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, I really like this one. Feel good album. Kiss, uh, Rocks Vegas. Uh, they have a uh, quite a quite a few live albums and everything, but I just. I just think that just think they have uh, an amazing energy live, and I I listen to this one so much um, uh, that you know uh, after you listen to some of the live albums, you start to memorize what they say between the songs and the reaction of the public and everything. So yeah, I I really like this one. It's uh, it's one of those albums that really makes me happy. Next question, nostalgic record. I'm not a person to feel nostalgic that much, but um, Dio Holy Diver reminds me um, of a period that uh, in my wife were together and I was, well, I was listening to this um, album a lot and particularly the the song Rainbow in the Dark. takes me back to that place a little bit so yeah this one we're almost there record store day release and this has to be the best record store day release ever ever death live in Eindhoven it's called Vibus Dividium this is one of the most awesome gigs of uh, death that I've seen. I remember watching um, uh, on YouTube a lot this this uh, particular concert, and uh, how can a guy like look so cool and be so brutal at the same time? That's what I was thinking about Chuck Chuck Uh and I mean this is just a great lineup. Death, what, what can you say? It's just amazing. And the last question, question number 20 is... What is your most recent purchase? And for me is Black Sabbath, Past Lives. So I had the chance to see, go see it live with the uh, vinyl brother Luis. And uh, I got this one. I mean, it's a compilation record, really. Uh, and it's still sealed. 
still need to open this one but I mean I, after going seeing it live uh, it was an amazing gig so I just I just had to get it I mean the cover is pretty pretty awesome Black Sabbath and um, yeah I mean it's just a great band uh, that really uh, made me kind of like them more <laughs> after the gig. It was really, really good um, watching them live at the end tour in, in, in London. So yeah, I think we end on, on a high note. And this is uh, the first video of the year, can you believe it? Now I'm going to uh, poke uh, the other final bird that we used to do the same and share his answers to the Vinyl Tag 2017, and I promise you this guy, this this time we will see you much sooner.